Hey guys, it's Mariama and I put together a few simple DIY ideas for the holiday season. All these ideas are super simple, elegant, and also thoughtful. First gift idea I want to talk about is one of my favorites. If you follow me on Instagram or on my website, you know that I love to fuse liquor. This is so simple to do and there are a ton of recipes on the internet. What you want to do is you want to buy fairly cheap liquor. You don't want to spend too much money on expensive liquor because we're going to be adding flavor to it. Some of my favorites are ginger gin, um, pineapple vodka, chocolate bourbon, and also orange bourbon. All you'll need is a, is a nice looking glass bottle, the liquor, and whatever flavors that you're going to infuse with. I recommend if you're going to go with the pineapple or the ginger to use candied dry pineapple or ginger. They impart so much flavor and they already have sugar on them so you don't have to add sugar into the alcohol. The glass bottles that I've used are from Ikea, so cheap, and also glass bottles that I've recycled from other things. All you have to do is just make sure that you boil them so they're sanitized and nice and clean and get to infusing. I love to label them with twine and I have a lot of paint samples laying around the house so I usually use that as a pop of color punch a little hole in that and just write it on the tab and attach it with some twine. A few things I want to mention about this. When I use bourbon, I tend not to add sugar even though some recipes do call for it. I feel that the liquor already has a natural molasses uh, sugary taste to it and I like to err on the side of caution and not make it too sweet. Sugar can always be added to it later. Another thing is since this is last minute, most likely the ingredients will still be inside the liquor when you give the gift. You just want to make sure that you tell the recipient that they should continue to taste the liquor. I would say every week shake the contents to make sure that everything is well combined and once it gets to the flavor that they enjoy, they should go ahead and take out the ginger or take out the pineapple or orange or whatever you decide to make. If you visit brownbell.com, I'll have the recipes that I've used and also some other ideas for what types of infusions you can make. The next gift idea is a cigar box, but a personalized cigar box. There are so many ways that you can personalize this for someone that you care about. I got this plain cedar cigar box from Joanne's Fabrics. I believe it was under five bucks. I had some paint samples around the house. I just put a fresh coat of paint on it. I chose this beautiful burgundy color, which I thought was very classy, also gender neutral. Then I sprayed it with the gloss that I also bought at Home Depot to make it shiny. Now, if you like the matte look, you can also leave it just like that. Now, to up this gift a little bit, I think it would be nice to, to include a cigar or two. You can also include a gift card to a local cigar shop so that they can go ahead and get their stash set up. Next up is something that I keep in my kitchen all the time. It's an infused olive oil set. Super simple. I got a set of glass con oil containers from TJ Maxx. I believe they were $2.99 a set. So you can pick two flavors. I usually have a garlic flavor and then a really spicy hot flavor that I keep on hand at all times. You want to make sure that you sterilize the glass containers. You want to get a big container of olive oil, pour it in your glass container to measure out how much you're going to need. Uh, put it into a pot. I like to bring it up to a boil with the flavors inside of the oil and then let it simmer for as long as possible. The longer that you have the flavors inside the oil, the more flavor that is going to be imparted into the oil. Now I just want to remind you that you can't keep the herbs or the garlic inside of the oil. I know sometimes you see it uh, in the store where the herbs are inside. Um, if you're going to do that, use dried herbs, but if you're using fresh herbs or garlic, you're going to have to take that out because they are perishable items and they will go bad inside of the olive oil. Now it is cold and flu season, so I thought it was a great idea to make infused honey. The two flavors that I made were orange and then one that I call Be Well Honey, which is ginger and lemon, which are very good in finding colds. Now there are two ways that you can do it. You could have it so that the diffusion of the flavors is slow, which means you're not going to use any heat on the honey. You just put the ingredients and let them steep inside of the honey. And that's what I did for the lemon and for the ginger. I thought they were pretty strong flavors and that it wouldn't take too much time to impart the flavor. But if you want to make it go by a little faster, you can 
put together a double boiler, drop the honey in there, and then add your flavors inside. And then strain before you put inside of the container. The last thing I whipped up was sage simple syrup. Now you can use just about any type of herb to make simple syrup, or you can use orange or lemon and put it in these beautiful glass jars. Again, I found at TJ Maxx for about two to $4.99 for a pack of two. So it's very simple to make and it's easy to get all the ingredients. Now that wraps up my DIY holiday gift ideas. I hope this helps. Now these are great gifts, not only for Christmas, but also for housewarmings, birthdays, or if you're going to a dinner party, this would be an amazing gift to give the host. I just wanna say happy holidays to everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season and have a blessed and safe new year. Take care.